I'm Hannah Prehn and I'm from Berlin, Germany. I like got a scholarship in Germany to get here as an exchange student. I want to make new experiences. I want to learn what it's like to be in another culture. I want to just make another experience, just to tell that I've done something and that I could actually say what, like, what it's really like, so that I don't have to um, see what see things through other people's eyes just to make my own picture and to really see what's going on. Um, my name is Melissa Mitchum and I am a CIE host parent. Our oldest daughter had expressed an interest in being an exchange student when she was in high school um, to another country and my brother had been an exchange student when he was in high school and so I knew that it was a, a really neat thing to do but I didn't really want my own child to do it because I didn't want her to be gone for a long period of time. And I thought that that would be a great thing to you know, have someone come to our home and stay with us and that maybe that person would be really upset and cry and be homesick and then my daughter would see that it's not a good idea to be away from your family for a year. Fire or something, whatever it is. Uh, what? What? You lose? But Hannah really hasn't been that upset. So um, it kind of backfired, I think, a little bit. It, you know, it didn't have the effect that I wanted, but I also wanted to bring another culture into our home. Hello, wie geht's dir? Wie geht's dir? Wie geht's dir? I mean, I'm going to school here like a normal high school student, and um, it is really different in many ways. But in the end, I really, it, I just got used to the language and suddenly everything worked out and school here is way easier for me than it is in Germany. She's made a lot of adjustments. She's used to being very independent um, and being an only child and here she's come to a family with siblings and parents who expect to know exactly where she's going and who she's with and you know make rules like you can't ride in cars with teenagers and th you know um, because our children are younger than she is and so we have different s sort of expectations. So uh, it's been a really good experience uh, and, and, and just worked out really well for us. At first it was kind of weird. It was just like having like Jasmine around, you know, just like one of our friends around all the time. But, you know, it's gotten really easy because, you know, she hasn't been with us our whole lives. So it's really easy to like talk to her because you don't have any, you know, like previous issues or grudges or anything. <laughs> But, um, and I think, yeah, we don't, of course not, um, <laughs> yeah, but I think she fits in really well, I think we got really lucky, because, you know, she just fits in so well with her family. Most like we watch movies, and we just talk a lot, we laugh a lot. <laughs> I know! <laughs> oh! And I don't know, it's just great, it's just, everything that pops up in our mind, we listen to music, we sing, we dance around the house, it just... It's like, I always wanted to have siblings, and now I found them, and it's great, because suddenly I get to do all the stuff that I could never do, that I was like missing, and I know that I missed out all these years, that I just missed out on everything that a big family could give you. I found my second family here. I really feel welcome every day. I walk into this house. I feel really just like a part of the family, and that's what was what I was looking for. So this is pretty much Ellie's side of the room. This is her bed, this is her closet, her dresser. This is my side of the room, so I can put all of my stuff, like pictures of my friends. I'm a scout, so these are my scouting friends. Yeah, it's easiest to say that we're scouts. So take the photographs and still friends in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and they asking on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the time I'm Hannah Prehn, I come from Deutschland and I'm in the CIE program.